right click the start button and then select this management. Step number 2. Create space for your new partition. So now right click the drive you want to partition and then select shrink volume. Now shrinking volume means you are putting away or setting aside space for the new partition you are about to create. And this is expressed in megabytes. Now 1000 megabytes equals to 1 gigabyte. So therefore, if I'm creating an 80 gigabyte partition for example, I am going to enter 80,000 megabytes. Step number 3. Create your new partition. So now you are going to notice that the space you set aside for your new partition is labeled as unallocated space. Simply right click that and then choose new simple volume. Alright, this will begin the setup process for your partition. Go ahead and click next to begin. And now confirm the amount of space. Assign a drive letter. And now where it says file system, if you don't have any special needs, you can choose NTFS. NTFS is the default Windows file system. And where it says volume label, very important, it's basically the name of your partition. You can name it anything you want. Let's say for example, you are going to use that drive to install Ubuntu OS. You can call it Ubuntu drive for example. And now click next. And that's it, you finalize and there you go. At this point, you will have a brand new partition. And now if you go check all of your drives, you will see your new partition listed as well. So it's that simple. If you like the video, hit the like button. For more, subscribe. Thanks for watching.